and he is a very good talent, Stephen Smith. I, I was privileged to have a bit to do with him up at the academy and, in, and also in New South Wales, where he spun the ball like this. Beautiful to watch. You've got to remember, I've had a lot of years standing behind Shane Warne, so I get an idea of what looks like what. And uh, he looked like he could be an up-and-coming uh, Warn type. But if we genuinely want another Shane Warn type, we'll never get another Warnie. But if we want one like that, we have to slow their development now. We have to give them a chance to get their, to groove it, to get their courage, to, to get their confidence. Uh, Warnie started off, he played 20 test matches before he played a single one-day game. If we did something with young Smith, this is what I would do. Uh, I'd pull him out of the 2020s and the 50 over games. We've got plenty of money. I'd, uh, I'd pay him match fees. And in return for that, he has to spend time with Warney. Not Warney coming in to see him once every two months or whenever Shane's available but set something down. Warn is our, our best chance to be able to impart this stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll show you for, you for your viewers that if you watch him bowl, you see he gets to the crease, throws his arms right back like this. So therefore he's trying to go forward, but he's throwing his arms back and then he launches in and falls over and, oh, he can't make it like that. No way in the world can he make it like that. But he wasn't doing that. He wasn't doing that two or three years ago. It's all about keep it tight in the 2020, but up here in the 50. So now let, let's, let's help them grow. Yeah, great to hear uh, from Terry Jenner there. And uh, well, he hasn't been in the best of health, TJ, but still had enough energy to uh, give us some time on the cricket show. We really appreciate it and wish TJ all the best in the future as well. Yeah. Interesting comments from him, Orny. Um, your involvement and in burning off spinners. Firstly, your involvement. You've done some work with. Uh, Young Smith. Yeah, and there's a lot to like about Steve Smith. He uh, He's a likeable character. He's, as we saw, he loves a joke. He's got a good smile on his face. He's got plenty of energy. He's got a couple of little things that he's doing with his bowling that we're trying to work on, and I'm sure the bowling coach, Troy Cooley, and a few of the guys in the team are helping him as well. But he's got the talent there. It's just a matter of him... You know, just bowling and bowling, and he has to go away and practice for hours and hours and hours and get that leg break happening. And if he can, we've seen the way he can bat. You know, he's going to be a very handy cricket. He's a future superstar, that's with, for sure. With any spinner, do you have to be more patient with a uh, cultivating a young spinner than you, you do with a paceman? It, it, or any bowler, you've got to be patient while you get them the, the confidence to compete at this level. Yeah, well, international cricket's difficult, especially with so much 20, 20 one-day cricket. I'd love him to play just first-class cricket, 10 games a year for New South Wales, and, you know, hopefully test cricket. But, uh, you know, with 2020 and all those types of things happening, it does creep in little bad habits. So let's hope he can balance it all. Let's hope he practices for hours and hours and wants to be the number one spinner in Australia. You have to be patient, especially with a wrist spinner. It takes time, and you're going to bowl some shockers. Well, let's hope we get half a warning. That'll, uh, that'll do us. He'll be fine, and good luck to T. Jay, as you said, mate, we're all thinking of you. Yeah. Mate, thanks for being on the show. Great to have you about. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you right throughout the week. Thanks, Scoob. Thanks, okay, mate. Shane Warne joining us on the Cricket Show. We'll be back here at the Wacker in just a moment.